Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. As we all know, due to China's late start in the semiconductor field, coupled with the previous prevailing concept of it is better to buy than to build and to rent than to buy, many technology companies have not mastered their own core technologies especially in the field of semiconductor chips. Imports The annual cost of chip imports reaches hundreds of billions, which can be said to be firmly necked by foreign companies. For example, in the field of mobile phone chips, Qualcomm Snapdragon almost monopolizes the domestic market. Even now, Manufacturers such as Xiaomi, OPPO, and Vivo are equipped with Snapdragon chips, and Qualcomm has made a lot of money in the domestic market. However, the emergence of Huawei's Kirin Core completely broke Qualcomm's monopoly in the domestic market. Since 980, Kirin Core has surpassed Qualcomm Snapdragon in terms of power consumption and energy efficiency ratio, and Huawei, at its peak, has occupied the leading position. Nearly 56% of the market share, coupled with the far lead in 5G, directly caused Qualcomm's domestic market share to plummet from 65% to 29% and even the chips can hardly be sold. In this regard, in order to safeguard the interests of local technology companies and consolidate its hegemony, the United States has also launched comprehensive sanctions against Huawei, from the entity list to chip rules, to the tripartite agreement and the four-party alliance. This series of sanctions and the suppression has severely damaged Huawei's vitality, and it has also fallen into the dilemma of having no cause available for three years. But even so, Huawei did not bow to the United States or compromise. Instead, under the leadership of Mr. Ren Zhengfei, it embarked on a path of 100% self-research and benefited from its unremitting efforts in research and development and investment, as well as its perseverance and dedication to death. In the same spirit, Huawei has made frequent breakthroughs in recent years. It has not only independently developed the Hongmeng operating system, HMS Ecological Services, and BIDA Satellite Communication Technology, but also used the advantages of Hongmeng and 5G to continue to rise in the field of smart cars. Even in August 2023, Huawei has returned again with Kirin chips. It can be said that it has successfully achieved a breakout under the U.S. chip blockade. In this regard, even many foreign media said, Huawei's rise is unstoppable. NVIDIA's Huang Rinxuan has emphasized many times, Huawei has become one of NVIDIA's strongest competitors. What even Biden didn't expect was that just a while ago, Huawei once again hit a big bomb that is, the ultrasonic fingerprint patent it applied for on July 4th last year was made public at the end of last year. This means that the technology has matured and is likely to be used on subsequent new machines. In fact, as far as the technical field of fingerprint recognition is concerned, most mobile phones are currently equipped with optical underscreen fingerprint solutions. Although it has the advantages of easy operation, good penetration and low cost, it is not safe and has poor usage conditions. 
Generally speaking, ultrasonic fingerprint recognition can solve these shortcomings very well. Therefore, Huawei's independently developed ultrasonic fingerprint recognition technology this time is worth looking forward to. You know, domestic mobile phone manufacturers have rarely used ultrasonic identification on their flagship phones before. Even if they use this solution, they almost use Qualcomm's ultrasonic identification technology, which Huawei obviously cannot use under US sanctions. But what breaks Qualcomm's heart is that Huawei's Kirin Core has just achieved a breakthrough, causing it to lose a large number of chip orders. Now it has independently developed ultrasonic identification technology. Although this technology is still in the trial mass production and research and development stages, once Huawei, if this technology, is put into mass production, domestic mobile phone manufacturers will be able to use Huawei's ultrasonic recognition technology in the future which means that Qualcomm will lose a large number of orders again, making the already declining revenue even worse. As the saying goes, there is no thick skin without scars. Heroes have always been lonely since ancient times. Although the US sanctions in recent years have scarred Huawei, its mobile phone business, and chip business have completely fallen out of the first echelon. However, in just three years, Huawei in the past year, Huawei has proven itself with its own entities. Now, not only has Kareen Core achieved a breakout, Huawei has also launched powerful AI chips, such as Ascend 910B and has independently developed ultrasonic recognition technology. It can be said that this breakthrough capability, it makes Biden jump with anxiety. I believe that in the next few years, Huawei will bring more surprises to China, and will also develop more new technologies, and comprehensively breaking the US blockade is just around the corner. If you support Huawei, please like it.